This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Government hypocrisy is good. Now, I bet you've already got a theory as to why I said that counterintuitive thing. You're probably thinking that I like government hypocrisy because it makes it easier to challenge the government. No, that's not why I like it, or at least see a silver lining in it. When I think government hypocrisy, I think of the way in which these questionable people like John Kerry and Hillary Clinton and Colin Powell spew all this talk about how other countries should observe human rights. Well, we get angry at them because we know they're not observing any human rights here to speak of. But in other countries, it looks very different and feels very different. Other countries can benefit from having uh, foreign power raise questions about human rights. Think about how comfortable you probably feel, relatively comfortable, when you see Russia Today's news network standing up for your rights. They raise all kinds of questions about human rights in America that the American media tends to ignore. Well, you don't flip out because of the fact that they're being hypocritical. I mean, in a sense, they are. They're funded by the Kremlin, right? And Vladimir Putin's boys, apparently, what, are, are they? Are, I'm not sure exactly who it was that put the radioactive stuff in that guy's drink for releasing Russian secrets, but wouldn't be too surprised if it was the Kremlin, right? So the Kremlin, I mean, they, what, they're putting people in jail for singing? I mean, it's just, you know, it, not a whole lot of freedom there. But this is really what governments are best at, is fighting other governments. And when they're just doing it with propaganda, well, no one's getting killed. Well, at least not in the propaganda process itself. Eh, they could do worse. So many times we liberty folk will look at the, uh, you know, the, the Cuban exiles of the world or the Ritty Bakhtiars of the world, uh, the people who have uh, you know, an ethnic tie to some oppressive country that's even more oppressive than the United States. And we, we wish that they would you know, fight for our freedom, but really they are fighting for their ethnic homeland's freedom, and they're using the U.S. to do it in many cases. I think Bakhtiar went to work for Voice of America. She's a Facebook friend of mine, believe it or not. She used to be the, one of the anchors on CNN, and she Facebook friended me. I'm not sure why, but we've been Facebook friends for a long time. Anyway, she's an Iranian-American, uh, works for CNN, now she works for Voice of America, and that's her way of contributing to the liberation of her own homeland. It, it would be, or at least her ethnic Thai homeland. It, 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 it's a lot like Adam Kokesh taking a job with Russia today. One can raise questions about it, but think how much worse it would be if we didn't have competing governments, if we just had like one government that ran the whole world, <laughs> like some people want. None of this relatively constructive process would be happening where you've got governments watchdogging each other a little bit. And if you back, you know, if you rewind a bit in time, the process was even more constructive than it is now. If you think of the old voice of America, back in the days when America was not the, the world's only superpower, it behaved much better. And voice of America was something of a beacon of actual relative freedom for the world. I never thought I'd say it back during the Cold War, but I guess things would be better if there were more of a multipolar world, a world without, you know, a, a, a unipolar power. Except getting from here to there is likely to be so messy that we're going to forget about any of the advantages. Anyway, just a thought. Government hypocrisy can be a good and helpful thing, not only in the way you were thinking, but in the process of Governments watchdogging each other. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your bitcoins into real world stuff. They're privacy friendly, you don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com.